For my first assignment, I was sent to Festo in Germany. It's a company known for making manufacturing robots. Well, that not might sound too exciting, but as soon as I arrived, it was clear to see that this was no ordinary engineering firm. Wow, this place is weird. Oh, look at that weird dome thing. It's like a Willy Wonka factory of amazing tech. Out front, a herd of robotic lawnmowers munch the grass, and a rather phallic-looking barrier stops traffic at the gates. <laughs> I'm easily entertained. From robotic arms to pneumatic plants and the first pneumatic F1 simulator, this company has spent hours tapping into people's creativity to make cool stuff from electronics. Do you think I can press this? Will anyone mind? Ah. But the big things here are fish, robotic fish. Festo have something of an obsession with sea life. This manta ray may look real, but spot the company logo. This fish is actually a robot created by Festo's bionic learning network, who believe that by mimicking nature, they'll ultimately be able to make some of the most intelligent, useful robots around. And this theory has led to their latest creation, robotic jellyfish. So I've come a bit off the beaten track here at Festo, and I'm going to go into the bowels of their research and development area, where they keep all the cool stuff to meet Marcus, who's the head honcho. Hi, are you Marcus? Hello. Hello, I'm Dallas Marcus. Campbell. Nice to meet Hello, you. Hello, Dallas. Thank you very much for letting me come in and <laughs> yeah. have a look at all your good stuff. <laughs> OK. Marcus was wow. instrumental in the development of the jellyfish. We have... Uh, oh, my word. <laughs> we like to demonstrate our competence in uh, electronics and uh, also in uh, electric drives. By building strange robot <laughs> jellyfish. Yes. Fair enough. I've been told these creatures are intelligent, autonomous robots. But to begin with, I wasn't too sure about the intelligent bit. It's kind of, um, it's kind of thinking. Is it, is it on or is it just sort of, oh, 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 oh. No, it's on. Oh, my yeah, yeah, God. yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that. As the jellyfish reach the bottom of the tank, their pressure sensors kick in and tell them to swim up, preventing a crash landing. Look at that, it's, oh my word. That is beautiful. These jellyfish have been built to explore how robots can work together in a group and interact with each other. In addition to pressure sensors, these critters also have light and radio sensors, which allow them to communicate with one another to avoid collisions. They even know when they're low on power and use an in-tank charger to keep themselves alive. So here's the thing, I've got a small aquarium at home. If I got one of these, it would dominate it, but it's a small price to pay. The aqua jellies change direction using a four-way pendulum, and they move through the water using something I learned about at school, peristaltic motion. I remember peristaltic motion when you kind of swallow and your throat kind of, you know, contracts and expands, and that's how you get food down there. But I guess a, a jellyfish, similar principle, so... If, sorry about it, I'm going to do this. If you're kind of... If you're there... <laughs> you want it to... It's sort of like that, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. After my fabulous earthworm impression, there was really nowhere for me to go, but I was thrown a lifeline of a simple infrared TV remote control. The jellyfish communicate with each other using infrared, therefore when I pressed one of the buttons on the remote, they thought I was one of them. I think she fancies me. This one, rather than being repelled by me, this one's actually a bit keen. The really exciting thing is how these jellies work together. Using their sensors, they can prevent collisions, maximize their living space in the tank, and ensure each one gets an equal time with the power charger. Simple stuff, but it could lead to the development of team working robots that create better products more efficiently. Before I left, there was one more invention to see. Festo have built a similar robot to the Aqua Jelly, but they've called it the Air Jelly. Air Jelly? Yeah? Do you see where this is going? Oh, that is wild. That is, un oh, that's fantastic. <gasps> the air jelly is filled with helium to make it almost weightless. It moves through the air just like the aqua jelly using peristaltic motion. However, it still needs a man to steer it. It has a battery motor and sensor which enables it to be directed using remote control. Could I try and have a go? Would that be OK? What do you think? I'm a very, I did my cycling proficiency test in England when I was 10, so I'm very, yeah. I'm very good. <laughs> Shall I take over? Yes. OK. <laughs> Let's go crazy. Only power. So it's not the fastest thing in the world. Yes, it's good. Yeah. Yes. How's that? Is that good? Yeah? Yes. 
I'm trying to I'm trying to wiggle it over towards me, but it's going the wrong slowly. way. Slowly. Yeah. Oh god, I've crashed it already. That's not a problem. Does anyone in the world have destroyed it? Slowly. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Everyone should have a remote control jellyfish. Thank <laughs> you.